Hi everybody, Kelly Alexa here, CEO and founder of Fitfluential and co-host of the new Fitfluential podcast, Fitfluential Radio, bringing you video number two of our series on sleep and how to get better sleep, sponsored by our friends over at Sleep Number Bed. If you haven't slept on a Sleep Number Bed, I'm just telling you, you're crazy to not dive into that. It's the most comfortable, optimized bed for sleep. So in my last video, we talked about how to make your bedroom a sanctuary so that you're gonna optimize your sleep. There's three million Americans that are dealing with sleep issues, and let me tell you, it affects everything. If you wanna get fitter and more healthy, you have to pay attention to sleep. So today we're gonna to talk about how to have a wind down routine. This is something my yogi was getting on me about three years ago. He's like, you've gotta wind yourself down. How do you do that? Let's start thinking about having a routine, a ritual, that's gonna get your body and your mind ready for bed. Start thinking about this at, what would you say, sundown, Kevin? Yeah, right at sundown. Yeah, I mean, at sundown is when you should start thinking about preparing for bed. Aim for getting into bed at the same time every single night. For me, it's nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. I used to go to bed at 11. The earlier, the better. Isn't that right, too? Absolutely. Sorry, I'm pinging Kevin on everything. Um, aim for getting into bed the same time every single night. When you start winding down again at sundown, stop the consumption of caffeine. That should be a no-brainer, but for someone like me who used to have bulletproof coffee right before bed and think I'd just take Excedrin PM, no. Cut out the caffeine. Also cut down eating, probably after, what would you say, sundown? Three, three hours before bed. Three or four hours before bed, because then, just keep it simple, don't do it. So you wanna start winding yourself down and you also do that, this is gonna be difficult for some of you, stop watching so much TV before bed. You wanna eliminate your exposure to blue light and electronics as much as you can before bed. If you are gonna watch TV, try to invest in some glasses that can block the blue light. That's a whole other episode, right? So you wanna wind down some things that can start getting your brain relaxed, a hot bath. I know for me, I've got essential oils um, that I use in my hot bath with Epsom salts. Um, I put lavender, I use frankincense that I put on my wrists before bed. You can also put lavender on the soles of your feet before bed. You can put lavender on your pillow on your sleep number bed when you go to bed. That's gonna help you wind down as well. Making sure I touched everything, so we want to avoid the light from uh, blue lights from your tablets, blue lights, is TV blue TV? light? Yes. TV, tablets, phones, all of that kind of stuff. Eliminate that, keep your body and your mind in dark and kind of just get into chill mode. Take a hot bath, put some essential oils on, have some relaxation, tea if you will. Get into bed at the same time every night and I'm telling you, your body is going to thank you. If you start relaxing more in the evening instead of doing what so many of us do which is taking our tablets to bed who's done that no checking work emails no having caffeine no eating no let's chill let's relax you're gonna have better sleep and of course I'm gonna tell you you need to have a sleep number bed because I tell you this if you have a sleep number bed you will thank me later I hope these tips help you I promise they will start incorporating it and have better sleep starting today